Today I am at Nilambur, the land of tea plantation. And in this beautiful location is a historic house, which is 300 plus years old. And today it is operating as a homestay. Classified by Government of Kerala, Tourism Department, this is a diamond category homestay with about two rooms being opened up for the guests. It's called Pudhiya Govilagam. Let me show you around and give you an insight as what you can expect when you come to this historic, iconic and wonderful mansion. And that's the grand entrance to Pudhiya Govilagam. Let me take you in. So welcome. And that's welcome our host, Mr. and Mrs. Burma. Thank you so much. So please come in. This is known as uh, Nilab, uh, Pudhiya Kovilagam. Uh, Nilambur Kovilagam Tarawar. And uh, it's about 300 years old building. Tarawar would be traditional house in traditional the little terms, correct? Where all the members used to stay. It, because that time it was a joint family system, you know. So all the members used to stay here, they eat together, like that, you know. So that is known as, uh, in Malayalam, it is known as Tarawa. Fabulous. <coughs> and so now she is the owner of this uh, house. Okay. After a family partition and all these things, she all right. bought that house. Okay. And she is managing that uh, everything here. All right. Fantastic. <laughs> Shall we go in and have a look? Uh, this stage, you know, uh, formerly all the marriages of the families conduct in this uh, uh, stage only. Wow. Yeah. And this is 300 years old? Yeah. That's a grand and chair. This is uh, hmm. one uh, Nadumuttam. Or the courtyard. Uh, courtyard. Uh, it is known as Nalikatte. Yeah. If it is one, this uh, one thing. And we have uh, two more uh, courtyards, you know. Okay. Inside the building. Okay. So let us go inside and see that also. Sure. Wow. This is a, another courtyard, you know. Okay. Which is the southern side of the building. All right. It is known as the Tekkekate. Okay. And this is uh, actually. Uh, 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 ladies are uh, using mostly this uh, this part of uh, the building. All right. Oh, that's and a grand. You can see that elephant tusk. Yeah. When it, the elephant dies, you know, mm -hmm. the tusk are kept in uh, at the time of uh, partition. Every family was given a uh, tusk. Okay. So a this pair is of tusk. So this and this is an inheritance. Yeah. This is another courtyard. Okay. And uh, here this is one guest room. Okay. Now it is already occupied. Okay. So let us go upstairs and see that uh, other room, uh, other guest room. Guest room, also. that's fine. Lovely. The climb is quite interesting. As you can see, it is all wood. You have to be careful that you don't bang your head. To the next floor. And that's the grand door again. Here it is two rooms, you know. Okay. It is uh, bedroom. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is sit, sit out. Okay. This is sit out. Okay. And here is the bathroom and the bathroom is this side. Okay. So that's the bathroom which has been renovated. Yeah. It's a modern one. Yeah, everything is modern. And uh, no, it is the tourism department is very strict on this uh, yes. bathroom. Classification <laughs> is quite difficult to get otherwise. <laughs> that's a writing table with a chair. And that's your bed. Beautiful antique piece sitting right next to it. Does it work? No. Yep. Not working now. There is some uh, this thing. Simple and elegant room. Quite spacious. Good for two. Low and heavy ceiling. All wood. It's got a window view towards the greens on one side and a courtyard on the other side. Let us see this room. 
where uh, we have a collection of old vessels. All right. Yes, please come. These are all the old uh, vessels here. Okay. Oh. And this one hmm? is actually a uh, children's bath tub. Okay. This one. <laughs> okay. And we have a, a smaller size also is here. Okay. And this, uh, uh, this one, you know, mm. it is used for uh, oiling the uh, babies. All right. Uh, uh, this thing and uh, give uh, oil massage and okay. on this. Probably this is the only place in the world where we had ration cards for elephants. The government of Kerala had actually issued seven ration cards to seven elephants of Kovilagam in the late 80s and they were there, functional and running. The, the, the ration cards are even there, but the elephants have moved on. They have been sold across to various places. But that's the history. There was a time when Kovilagam had about 72 elephants altogether. That's a long story. And many more such stories can be expected when you are here at Pudhiya Govilagam in Nilambur. So I have Aditin and Arti here with me and they are going to enjoy a meal with their parents. That's a pure vegetarian meal. What all do we have there? Maanga achar. Mm. Uperi. Beans okay. uperi. Okay. This is chakka. chakka. <laughs> Pulisheri, chor. Papadam. Papadam. And that's rasam, I guess. Yes. You like what you have seen? Yes. Huh? Enjoy the meal. Thank you, Rasa. Interestingly enough, the host of Pudhiya Kovilagam is a storyteller too. Actually, Nilambur Kovilagam shifted from Kondoti in 13th century. They, of course, in the middle of uh, 13th century, and they had settled here, uh, and, and uh, they were the chieftains of Samudians. Okay. And uh, they have, uh, the Samudri has given them a lot of land, landed property, so they became landlords. And they had settled here, and uh, started constructing their kovilagams and this thing. And uh, the first kovilagam they constructed is Pudhiya kovilagam which is now about 300 years old. Wow. This uh, Nilambur teak is one of the, uh, the best in the world. You can see that finishing, once it is finished, you know, the grains which it shows uh, after finishing, you know, is the best, which no other teak uh, plantations, uh, you can see that uh, grains. One of the key activities when you're here is the walk with Verma. And we have the host himself taking us on a 45 minute walk across the countryside. So we are now entering the forest area, which is adjoining the plot. And this is the landmark, and it's called Janda. So as you can see, this is a forest of a different kind. It's more of a teak plantation than a forest. <clears throat> Dense, thickly populated with teak trees and the fauna. You can hear the birds, number of them around. It's a lovely music to the eyes. It's a lovely music to the ears. Now we are on a interesting track which would lead us to the Chalya River. There we are. First glimpse of it and the music of the water. Thick forest on either side. Lovely water flow, beautiful climate, and absolute peace. No one's around. What more do you need? What's interesting is that you're not seeing any garbage floating around. 
which is really amazing. That's the laterite which is used for construction purposes. It's cut out from such huge chunks into bricks and that is what is used for the construction of this area. And up front is the temple which belongs to the Kovilakam. Lovely picture of surroundings. That's the rear entry to the temple. What you see here is a cooking area. Firewood. Cooking is done with firewood when the temple gets into action. This is the grand entrance to the Nelambur Kovilaga, which is constructed uh, in the year uh, 1924, okay. actually. And uh, from here onwards, it is uh, Kovilaga uh, uh, area starts. You know? Okay. <coughs> Nelambur Kovilaga senior Raja used to stay this building, okay. and it is known as Valia Kovilaga. The Kovilaga office. And uh, there is another uh, uh, small uh, temple also inside that, uh, which okay. is meant for only family members. All right. Now others will be entering that. Huh. 1955, then uh, Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru came here and had a lunch, and he was here for about uh, uh, five hours wow. at that time. All right. Yeah. And that's the Kovilikam Temple. Lovely early morning scenes. This is the old temple which has been closed down now and in place the new temple right behind me has come up. Even now the temple festival starts from the courtyard of the old temple. Milk distribution around this area is still the classical old way. It's carried in cans and there's a milkman delivering to each and every house. This is a classified homestay from Department of Tourism, Government of Kerala and it has got a diamond classification. Wow! Look at the wonderful collection. It's a beautiful Krishna. Brass handicrafts. So Srimati Vamma, the lady of the house, has prepared some amazing breakfast. Am I in the breakfast Nandana? Idli. Idli. Okay. And that's her huge kitchen. But there are small cooking beds, as just two of them are there. And right over there is an interesting contraption through which we pull out the water from the well, the drinking water. I'll show it to you in a while. Let's see what's there for breakfast. And that's Chutney, Idli, Tea, more Idlis, and a bit of pickle if you want the spices. That's the breakfast, homely breakfast, ready to be consumed. So this is the well within the house and it's quite interesting to see how the drinking water is collected. And the lady of the house is going to show it to us. She's lowering the bucket to collect the water. It's a manual exercise. And there it comes. There. And it's a pretty interesting wooden contraption which pulls it over. And my journey to Pudhya Kovilakam is coming to an end. This is the way out. And it was a wonderful experience exploring Pudhya Kovilagam. So if you like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. And until the next vlog, this is Shailesh signing off.